Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living. So today is Tuesday, January 10th, and today we need to do a quick check-in for last week's weigh-in. So let me go inside, have a seat, and I'll make this a quick video. But I'm gonna go inside so that we can talk about what happened last week and I can upload this video today. All right, so like most people, I started the new year up in weight. I don't know, if, no, actually I haven't told you guys yet. So you guys know I paused my weight loss journey for a while. My lowest weight on the channel has been 216 pounds. Well, after Christmas and the new year, oh gosh. Okay, so my weight was 226.6. I'll actually put it here. So that was like a gain of 10 pounds, I guess you can say, like from um, celebrating just throughout the holidays or whatever. And I know like for some people that were freak out, I have to be honest with you guys and tell you like, in the past that would have thrown me off completely because I just remember like before, you know, whenever I would have a cheat meal or um, if I would go on vacation or just celebrate a holiday and like I would gain weight, it would feel like I totally undid everything that I had done. Um, but I do want to report to you guys that by the end of the week, just by getting back to my healthy habits, which I'll show you guys, I figured that that would be a good way um, a good thing to include in this video. I'm gonna include my fitness planner here and some of the things that I did last week. Yeah, so just by getting back to my healthy habits and I'll show you what I've been tracking, um, I was able to finish the week at 219.6 pounds. So that is a loss of seven pounds in one week and no, it is not typical to lose seven pounds in one week, but I knew that the majority of it was from inflammation. So I just wanna encourage you guys, especially those of you that have gained weight from the holiday, like just get back to your good healthy habits. Um, I'll show you again, like I mentioned, a lot of the things that I've been doing, my fitness planner, I'm actually gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you guys everything I've been tracking and if this helps you, if you want a video of like, full details of my fitness planner. I would love to do that for you guys. And before I do that, so before I do that, I just wanna thank you guys so much. We have hit our 4,000 watch hour mark. Ah! I am so excited. So YouTube did allow me to apply for their partnership. So I, I currently have to wait like a month or so to hear back from them. But I am so excited that we finally hit that 1,000 subscriber mark and also the 4,000 watch hour mark. But yeah, let me flip the camera around and show you guys what happened in my planner this week. And then if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. Okay guys, so I thought I would bring my planner over. Um, this is my fitness planner, like what I'm tracking, um, everything again for the year. So I thought that maybe it'd be beneficial to share some of this with you guys. So you can see here that I started the week off at 226.6 and then I finished the week at 219.6 pounds. So basically these are the habits that I'm tracking. Um, I'm not perfect with it at all by any means, um, but I'm finding that by tracking these habits, it actually helps me to kind of like stay on target a little bit. So you can see here I'm tracking my steps per day, my fast, um, am I getting 80 ounces of water? I'm tracking my sleep as well as my eating windows. And then here I have my goals for each week. So my goal for this week was to lose five pounds, which I felt was realistic because I knew I had a lot of inflammation like from Christmas and New Year's Eve. And then I wanted to get in 70,000 steps this week. And I also wanted to lift two days this week. So I haven't like highlighted those yet, but I've actually, I met those goals. So except for this one, because I actually only got in 69,522 steps, but I did manage to lose seven pounds and I lifted two days um, in, within this week, which was leg day here. And then I did arms over here. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I don't know if it, if it helps. If you guys want like a full tour of my fitness planner, just leave me a comment down below and I can like go into more details and maybe just do a full video on just this alone. And as you can see here, like towards the weekend, this is when I realized I was like way behind on steps because stuff happens. <laughs> so I was like trying to catch up with my step count and I should have calculated ahead of time because I would have finished those 500 steps that are missing during the day. I also try to write down like what I'm eating. So you can see that there. But again, like here, I'm not always perfect. Like if life gets busy, I don't fill it in, but I don't feel bad about it either. So yeah, this is how I'm tracking everything for this year and we'll see where we end up.
Oh yeah, and typically in my weigh-in videos, I do tend to do body shots, but you guys, I've been cleaning my garage out, which I do plan to share with you guys. Not like the garage, but I'm trying to create like a little workout area for me because this year my goal is to put on some more muscle. But I'll show you a clip here, like when I went to the beach, the swimsuit I wore. All right guys, so here is the swimsuit that I'm wearing today. To be honest, this is actually a little too big. Like, I'm sure it's not showing up on camera, but it's a little big, but I'm comfortable in it, so I'm gonna wear it. I wore it, it was a little bit too big for me, but it still looked cute, so I wore it anyways. And then like right now, I'm, like this is the look I'm going for. Like I just wanna be the fit, athletic girl. This doesn't really show like much of my body. In the next video, I promise you guys, the next weigh-in video, I'll be sure to show more. I've just got a lot on my plate this week, but I promise you guys there's gonna be a lot more content coming. I got my air fryer, I'm gonna share that with you guys. Hey guys. And then I also bought a salad chopper. So I wanna share some salads with you guys air fryer recipes, garage makeover, like there's a lot coming, I promise. I'm just in project mode right now, but I also wanted to get this video out today. So again, thank you guys so much for helping me reach those 4,000 watch hours. Means more than you know. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.